What's up, people? It's your boy Jerry Pricing. Yes, I know I haven't posted in a while. Life's been kind of, kind of challenging right now, you know, especially with work and all this bunch of different stuff that's been going on. But I did not forget to post this review. I made sure of it. Actually, all day today, when I was at work, I was just like, I just can't wait till I get off, drop my friend home, drop my girlfriend home, get to work, sit on the couch, watch this episode. And to be honest. The critic in me didn't really like this episode. The fanboy in me loved this episode. And with that being said, I'm actually gonna keep this review short because I'm, you know, I'm right here playing GTA right now, trying to get that in. The Lost MC DLC just dropped, so I'm gonna try to play that for a little bit before I go to bed. But with that being said, yes, the Flash episode, season three, pilot episode, I liked it somewhat because of all the extra stuff they threw out there, all the Kid Flash stuff, a lot of a lot of character exposition by the Reverse Flash, a lot of action and everything. That's the fanboy in me talking. Now, critic-wise, that the episode was kind of slow-paced. Like, everything was just kind of, like, pushed along and hooked on by the next thing that's happening. So it kind of, like, one thing is dragging another. Like... Like with the part when Barry kind of just gathered everybody at Star Labs, which is like Ramon Industries, whatever. And it kind of felt like it was forced. And they gave me backstory about what Caitlyn was doing or what anybody else was doing. It kind of just, especially didn't give me backstory what Joe was doing. It was just like Joe wasn't doing anything. Like it felt like everything, all the commercials, all the advertisement uh, leading up to the episode, that the episode didn't really kind of capitalize on the hype that it had. Yeah, I guess it was just trying to bring in people just to watch the episode. I mean, the show, I mean, it's amazing. Don't don't get me wrong. I love the show. I've always loved the Flash character since I was, like, little. But to see, like, not the, the first episode of season three not kind of live up to the hype that I thought it was going to kind of, like, was just like, eh. Like, I don't know what kind of season three is going to, like, lead up to now because it's, like this first episode like the first episode of season one was amazing season two unspeakable like no words can explain how good that was now season three i'm kind of like having second thoughts it's like season two of the walking dead and i'm just like man but in all honesty there was a lot of cool parts in this episode like barry versus the rival and uh wally dying or almost dying that was actually kind of like oh my gosh like I didn't actually think they was gonna pull that card, but they did, and that was actually pretty cool. And I would say, what else? I would say the ending of this episode is probably the best thing. Cause I mean, the cliffhanger was actually pretty good. Like it was actually a pretty good cliffhanger. Cause I'm actually like, dang, now I kind of want to watch the next episode, but I feel like it's probably gonna be like the first episode. But hey, I could be wrong. Season three, episode two could be actually pretty good. Yeah.